Okay. I'm just going to put one message on YouTube's night. One more message. And that's going to be it for the night. I'm old, use my old YouTube, so on my YouTube account. Let's talk on the Orion spacecraft. It's been put back two years, from 2021 to 2023, for the first manned flight, yes. The same thing's happening with this new spacecraft as what happened with Apollo and what happened with the Space Shuttle, all building up to this new spacecraft which is going to be used to discover the solar system. It is extraordinarily fast, a lot different than the other spacecraft. It circled the Earth twice in two to four hours. Mate, that's a massive speed. A massive speed. So 2023 is not a great length of time in the future. It's only eight years. Let's look back in the past. 2007. Just think of what you're doing in 2007 and uh, put it in the future. You'll be seeing the Orion spacecraft start to take people to asteroids and do other things. Science fiction is no more science fiction. It's now science fact and it's upon us. Let's all see that. <clears throat> And this is all part of Agenda 21 and the coming of the New World Order. The world will be much different than what it is today. Much, much, much different. And it's not going to take long and it'll be here. Within 10 years, we'll be seeing things we don't even contemplate today at all. Within 20 years, it could be massively different. We could be going to Mars. We're preparing to go to Mars now. 20 years in 2035. In 30 years, who knows what it will be. I just, I'm just interested to wait and see. Because in 20 years' time, I'll be only... Eight. 30 years' time, I'll, only, I'll be only 85. More than likely still alive. Let's see. If Jesus isn't returned, Agenda 21 isn't taken over. A well, new world order hasn't come, and we're not in a, we're not in a different not in a state of eternal eternal difference. The world will not be as it is today. Thank you very much, and bye for now.